All right, guys, so the other piece of equipment that we did send you home with was a plate. So you might have anywhere from a 45 to a 10. We want to make sure that we get all these motions as well captured on film so that you have something to reference. And again, if you have any questions, you can also reach out to us for more clarification. So the first one up, we've done it a lot. It's the plate clean and press, okay? <coughs> so the leading edge is gonna to touch the ground and then straight overhead. All one nice motion, even though we say it's a clean and press, it's just one swift motion through the hips to the shoulders, okay? Next one, we can do any, we can do a thruster with anything, I promise you, so we're gonna demo a plate thruster. Squat down, press up, head through. <coughs> Pretty easy. All right, next one, raises. So any type of plate raises, so we can do a front raise, Okay, for the front delt, we can take that plate, we can put our fingers right in the middle there, and we can do a lateral raise, straight out. <laughs> and then we can also do a plate high pull, okay, so grip, pinch grip, elbows finish high, okay, make sure we get the traps in there. <coughs> Reaching sit up, going to our core, so we lay down. Feet either extended out in front of us or planted, and we push straight up through the plate. Always reaching up, plate doesn't come very far forward, just straight up. Those are reps of 15 to 20. Uh, oblique twist. Okay. Oblique twist, just going back down. <coughs> also known as the Russian twist, side to side. Make sure you don't bounce off the ground. It's a slow, steady, controlled motion. Same thing, it'll be in rep schemes of 15 to 20 per side. Make sure you note that those are per side. Overhead lunges will also be noted per side. Elbows are locked out. It's our in motion of our thruster. Nice step, you can walk with them. You can go forward or we can take a step back lunge, whichever you prefer, whichever your space allows for. Elevated heel squat. Okay, so you might need one or two plates. You might not even be able to use a plate um, if you need a little higher. So this is just going to target our quads a little bit. You can take your slam ball um, or your plate or any, I don't know, spare child if you have one and hold it right here to make it a little bit harder. We're going to go three seconds down pushing the knees forward and one second up. Note that if this does bother your knees, um, you can make a modification uh, just doing a regular squat, okay? So this is just to isolate the quads a little bit, to give us more variation, um, and to have a little fun with it, okay? Likewise, we can take our plate if it's high enough, and we can do elevated lunges, front foot elevated lunges for a little more range of motion, or a Bulgarian style lunge, rear foot elevated lunge, same thing. We have a plate row for our upper back, put three fingers right in the middle where the barbell would normally go and we take that elbow out so we get the upper back, we get the rear delt, we get the lat. Those will be in high rep ranges as well because our plate is a little bit lighter. Going to the triceps for our Tool Tuesday or a bro pump session. So triceps overhead, make sure to pause up top and outstretch. Okay, time and retention is key when we're bodybuilding. We got plate curls right here. Just at the elbow, keep the elbows pinned here right out in front, and just work the biceps. And that is everything that we can do with a plate, okay? So you'll see all these in SugarWide. Brittany will be programming a lot of these motions. If you have any questions, again, refer to the video or reach out to us. Anything else? That's it. All right, thanks, guys. I wanted to be a ballerina when I grew up.